JavaScript with drone blocks. A lot of educators come to us and say, we've mastered block coding. Or, you know, they've gone pretty good at it. And they want to take their students onto the next adventure, which is scripts or JavaScript and Python. So we said, yes, of course you can. You can use JavaScript. So what you will do in the next video, I'll show you the lesson in the curriculum that teaches you all about the JavaScript side. But just as a quick example for this lesson, you can download drone blocks code for Mac or for Windows. Once you've downloaded the zip file, click on the up arrow and say open. Once it's opened, it will appear as a file, as an application file that you can just drag into your applications directory, just like that. And once it's in your applications directory, double click on the DroneBlocks app and launch it. Now, for the first time you open it on a Mac, you might have some security warnings where you'd have to just follow your nose where it says this was a app downloaded from the internet rather than the app store. And then you just click on allow and you go into your system preferences and you go into your system preferences and security and privacy. And then you'll have under general the option to launch the app anyway. Once you've done that, you can now open up the DroneBlocks app. As you can see, you now have a text editor that lets you type in JavaScript. It is really cool. So you can do a show message, which is sort of like a console log. You can write the takeoff function, which takes off and take fly forward 50 inches instead of centimeters. So here's where you could write basic JavaScript. So you can include uh, while loops or if statements. And if you wanted to start from scratch, you can click on the hamburger and say new script, new script. Here you have a blank page. Now you can do your double backslash comments. I will fly to the moon. That's probably not possible with the teledrone. But you know, can I say fly forward 50 or 40, let's just 60 inches, done. It will now fly forward 60 inches. I can then copy and paste that and say fly right 60 inches and copy and paste that and say fly backward. Capital B, it is case sensitive. And then fly left 60, oh, single quotation mark. Voila. Now I launch this code, my Tello flies in a 60 inch square. Now what's very cool is you can also do things like saving your script, 60 inch square, hit save. Your mission was saved successfully. I can then go open script. Here's my 60 inch square. Voila. Um, and of course, another cool thing is you can go to your example scripts and go to loops. So now it says take off. Let I equal zero while I is less than four. I++, plus plus, you know, so, and if you've written JavaScript, this makes perfect sense to you, right? If you've never seen JavaScript, don't worry. We'll teach you all about using that with your drones in the curriculum. So here we have fly forward 50 inches. Then you will write. Now you'll notice that that actually flies in a square, but it does take off. And for four times or four iterations, the drone flies forward 50 inches. Yours right 90 degrees and repeats forward 90 degrees, forward 50 inches, 90 degrees, etc. So here's a Tello talent flying in a square using the your method instead of just the move method. So as you can see, it flies, it turns, it flies, it turns. Very cool. Now, if we go into the options again and go to example scripts, we can go to variables and you can see it does the variables. So you could let number of side equals six, let side distance equals 48. Let interior angle equal number of sides minus two times 180. Oh, there's math in here. Who would have thought? So everything you can do with your blocks, you can effectively do with JavaScript, which is so cool. What a great way to complement your JavaScript lessons by introducing drones. Once you've looked at some of the examples, you can actually go into the menu and click on function reference. And here is a bit of code that has all the possibilities the setting, the speeds, the yours, the flips, etc. So you can use all of those functions to make some very cool code with your Tello. What's also very cool is you can write your code in another editor and you can just copy and paste that into the DroneBlocks code app. And then of course, menu, launch mission, that will send your code to the Tello. That is so cool. So that's how you would write JavaScript instead of block coding. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing on the DroneBlocks app quickly. Okay, so inside your DroneBlocks app, if you click on the menu and you go down here, 
you have show JavaScript code. If you click on that, it actually shows you the JavaScript code already, which is great because if you've got a pre-existing mission in block coding, you can literally copy and paste this, right click copy, do file, new script, paste, there you have it. Okay, I've already got the takeoff and land. So I've just copy and pasted my code from the DroneBlocks app with block coding, and I can use this DroneBlocks code to send that JavaScript to the drone. That is so cool. And that wraps up our JavaScript and DroneBlocks. In the next video, we are going to fly our Tello drones using Python. So grab a battery and a drone and your classroom device and meet me in the next video.